Hello everyone, welcome to College Crash Course. Um, today we're gonna to be talking about um, your Common App, um, or well, more about Naviance, about how to make sure your college list is up to date and how to um, request letters of recommendation and transcripts. Um, so I tried to make this video earlier to of matching a Common App so you could see the whole process, but unfortunately, Naviance will not connect to my um, Common App practice account. So that's why you still see this match accounts um, flag here. Now, if you were doing Common App, um, the first step would be to do match accounts. Um, and after you do the FERPA waiver, which is right here in Common App under Colleges, Recommenders, and FERPA. Um, I'll try and post a video about that, hopefully showing you um, the entire process since I wasn't able to do the entire process in the demo accounts. But, uh, yep, so once you match up your Common App, um, you would actually see a list here of all of the colleges that you have in this colleges list. So for me, if I'd gotten it through, you'd see Oberlin, Ohio University, Otterbein University, and Ohio State University. I thought it would be good to have all colleges that start with O. That is not a good way to build a college list, but this is just for um, sake of demonstration. So this is, again, assuming that um, you have gone through lesson one of the college crash course, um, where we talk about how to build your college list and, and how to pick colleges that work really well for you. So um, we're assuming that this college list that we're putting in there is something that you've um, really thought about and explored and researched these different colleges before um, adding them to your application list. And if I am really cool, you'll see a link below um, in the video of um, that lesson one so you can go back and watch that if you have not already watched it so since um i can't match the accounts i'm going to manually add these colleges which is actually how you would add the colleges if you were applying directly to the institution um, and not using common application so i'm going to do the red plus sign let's do oberlin So as um, you're adding the colleges, which if you were doing Common App, you would go in and edit your college applications to make sure that the um, deadline is accurate. That's your first step. So I'm doing, let's do regular decision because reg early decision is the binding option. Early action is where you have access to more scholarships. But Oberlin just has early decision and regular decision. So I'm gonna do regular decision. I'm gonna submit my application um, so you'd want to indicate whether it's via the Common App or direct to the institution. Uh, make sure that you check off the appropriate one. If I'm doing this. I have not submitted my application, so I'm not checking that off. I'm going to do Add and Request Transcript. And then you just do Initial, Request and Finish. Now, of course, that will look different um, if you are adding things directly through Common App. So let's say this pulled directly from Common App, you would fix all of this by clicking edit. Here's where you fix the application type because everything will be um, defaulted to their regular decision from Common App. Um, you make sure this is via Common App and save. So I'm gonna add another call, I'm gonna add a couple more colleges. to Otterbein. So their priority deadline is December 15th. They only have common apps, so that's the only way. Add a request transcript, initial request and finish. Now this time I'm not gonna, um, oops. This time I'm not gonna add um, the transcript request that we can see what it's like if you are going through common app. Let's do Ohio University. So this one, so there's the early action, November 15th. I'm just gonna do add application, so that way I can show you how to add your transcript request if you haven't already done that. Now see this question mark? That means I didn't put in, oops. If this comes up, just say no thanks. That's just advertising. Um, 
So you can see there's no request for transcript here. It's the office materials. That's um, looking at what we have sent as counselors. That's our end of it. So um, once we've sent initial materials, it'll say initial materials submitted. So this kind of looks like um, what happens when it pulls directly from Common App. So I'll show you how to fix it. So see, it, it says I'm not sure yet. So I'm actually um, going to say I'm going through Common App. Make sure this is the correct deadline. Save. Okay. So now my deadline is correct and the submission type is correct, but there's still no request for a transcript. So let me add one more college so you can see that again. Let's do Columbus State. Now Columbus State Community College, not Columbus State University, some people get mixed up, it's Columbus State Community College. Theirs is just rolling. So um, that just means that they'll accept your application pretty much any time. And then their only option is to submit their application directly to the institution because they're not a common app school. And um, two-year colleges are not on common app. So I'm going to do add application. So see how it looks a little bit different when you're submitting direct. So now I need to request transcripts. Going initial. Now, where are we sending the transcripts? So you can actually check off all of the colleges that are on here if you hadn't already requested them. Now, if you are you know, already knowing that you have a college that requests that requires a mid-year report, you can check that off here if you want. But honestly, like just tell us when we get closer. Um, that way, like if you have other colleges that request one, you can just let us know then. So we're gonna do request and finish. So now we've got transcripts requested for everything. Now let's talk about adding letters of recommendation. This is where it gets a little bit more confusing. So in terms of requesting a letter of recommendation. Um, this is how you request a letter for um, any Columbus City School employees. Um, I recommend using, um, finding a teacher that knows you pretty well, that's seen you overcome some, some challenges and, and that can really speak to your abilities and probably has had you more recently than other teachers. Um, and then you can ask maybe another teacher to um, from from other areas that you're really interested in or or other teachers that know you pretty well if you're not sure who to ask for your letters of rec just come talk to us we're, we're happy to help you decide um, but the way that i recommend doing this um, and this this is um, some general advice uh, if you're not really sure how you want to do this just come talk to us but in most cases, I recommend having a primary letter writer and a secondary letter writer. And the reason for that is because the primary writer is the person that if you wanted, or if a college only accepts one letter of recommendation, that would be your primary writer. Um, so anyone that you think is uh, your primary writer, this is how we um, put this in here. So let's say we want Miss Chestnut. Let's say Miss Chestnut's going to be my primary writer. So since I want her to send a letter, you know, anywhere that I apply, like so, if the college only accepts one letter, I want it to be hers. She's my primary writer. I'm going to click all current and future colleges I to add to my um, colleges I'm applying to list. So this gives her permission to submit that letter of recommendation to any colleges that are on your list at any time. So that includes any colleges that you add to your college list on Common App, since those automatically show up in Naviance once you add them to this list. So that's really helpful because um, you don't have to come back in and add more um, requests. It's just kind of a one and done situation. So when you're submitting this, you should have already talked to your teacher about it and let them know that you were putting it into Naviance. Um, so you can put like a short little note here, like thank you so much for agreeing to 
write my letter. Also, you are featured in the College Crash Course video tutorial. That way she is not super confused. All right, so then I'm gonna click Submit Request. So now I've given her um, access to all of my applications. I've made sure that all of my applications have the right deadlines on it, so that way she sees all the right deadlines on it. That's why it's so important to make sure that your deadlines are up to date before you click this Add Request. So now, that's our primary writer. We're gonna add, let's say, Say Miss Green um, because let's say she knows me pretty well and knows those the work that I've done, um, but also she'll understand if she gets an email from me saying that I'm requesting a letter recommendation. So let's say that I picked a teacher that still knows me pretty well or like is in one of my elective classes or something like that. So um, take a look here. So. See, Otterbein University only allows one letter of recommendation. OU uh, will accept up to 10. Please don't submit 10 letters of rec. Um, Oberlin requires two. And Columbus State, they don't really even review them. So that's why it's kind of blank. Um, so I need her to write a letter for Oberlin. She can, we can have her submit it to OU. But we're not going to pick Otterbein because we've already got Miss Chestnut writing a letter, um, the one letter for us. I feel like I should have some different music here for you other than just my typing, but um, I'm not cool enough to know how to how to do that. Let's see, I've only added her to the colleges that will accept more than one letter. Now, if I add another college to my college list that accepts more than one letter of recommendation, I'm gonna to have to go back here and add the individual request for that college. Um, if I'm adding in more than, than two letters of rec, I wouldn't do more than three in that third person. I would say is like, you know, if you're applying to a really specific program, like a musical theater and you have like a vocal coach or something that, that you want, then I would be adding that request. If there's someone outside of um, the district, you can use, um, in Common App, you can go down to um, Invite Other Recommender. Now, if you're applying somewhere that's not Common App or if you're not applying directly through Common App, um, you can just follow the college. Each college has their own um, directions for how to submit letters of recommendation. In almost every scenario, you are not permitted to submit letters of recommendation yourself. So if a recommender tries to send you your letter, um, you can't really submit it. I mean, definitely keep it on file for future um, needs. Like if you are applying to a job that requires a letter of recommendation or a specific program or a scholarship or something, uh, but most colleges are not going to accept a letter of recommendation from you. It has to um, follow whatever requirements for submission that the college has. Sometimes that's a physical letter in an envelope with the teacher's signature over the seal. Um, sent directly from school letterhead. Sometimes um, it has to go through email from their email. Um, so just you know, if you have questions about how to do that, let us know. But in most cases, you're going to be using Naviance to request these letters. Um, now, if you have any questions about this process, please reach out to your counselor or to your I know I can advisor. We're all here to help. Um, and we hope that you get a lot out of this college crash course. Uh, thanks for, so much for watching. If you are super awesome at making videos, let us know uh, so that way this can be even cooler.